Well, Caleb Joseph joins us after a big day, both behind the plate and at the plate. Caleb, let's first start with Wei Yin Chen. He was sailing along and then ran into some trouble in the middle innings. What was up with that? Yeah, he was doing really well, um, locating the fastball, throwing a lot of good curveballs and changeups, and then just uh, just kind of lost command there. And um, you know it happens sometimes, but he did a great job keeping us in the game, working out of a lot of uh, jams there. It seemed like uh, every other inning he was in a jam, and I uh, did a great job keeping us in the game. Well, what is your thought process when he loses the command? I mean, did you relay any kind of message to him? Yeah, you're, you're trying to keep him controlled. You know, sometimes it's easy when you got five runs really quick to uh, just go out there and kind of put it on cruise control, but... You know, they, they've got enough firepower that you've got to really make quality pitches. So that's what we were trying to do is get out there and get him uh, aggressive in the zone. And he was aggressive in the zone for those swings for uh, Longoria and then Foresight. And then, you know, it, it's tough sometimes. So you, you want to keep him in the zone. Yeah, he uh, appeared very frustrated when he left. It, it, it almost looked like as if he felt, hey, it got away from me and now I'm out of the game. Yeah, it happens. And, uh, you know, we like to see that fire out of way in. He's uh, pretty you know, chilled out guy. And so to see him kind of fired up, uh, it really ignites me at least. And, um, you know, he wants to stay in that game and he wants to get through and get a quality outing and, and try and go deep into the game, save the pin. But, you know, uh, Tommy did a great job coming in. Then Brad and obviously uh, the two studs at the back end did a great job for us. And talk a little bit about your offensive performance. I don't think you've had time to go in and review your home run where this fastball was, but it was uh, well off the plate inside. Describe how you got to that fastball. Well, he jammed me a little bit that, that first at bat, and I really didn't want that to happen. I, I like it inside, and so, you know, to be honest with you, I was in take mode, and then as soon as he came set, I thought, you know, if he throws one down and in there, I, I really want to swing at it. So I got back into swing mode and uh, just pulled the hands in tight. I mean, the only way to keep that ball even fair is to really pull the hands in, and I let the, let the barrel release uh, after, and, and uh, it worked out. Well, Caleb, you've had a great day here, but Mike and I need to tell you, you've been outdone by your brother. Uh, Corbin Joseph playing at Bowie today. They're in the ninth inning. Bay Sox lead 10-3 to at Harrisburg. Here's what your brother's done today. Oh, He's 4-4. No. Four for four. He has a triple. He has a two-run home run. He has a solo home run, and he has four RBIs. You've been outdone by your brother. Hey, he's hit like six home runs in the last week. I'm just glad he's not a catcher, right? He'd be coming <laughs> up here to take my job. <laughs> I can't wait to go in there and text, text him. I'm really excited for him. He loves playing for the Orioles organization, and, uh, you know, he's done a great job so far. All right, well, Caleb, congratulations on back-to-back -back wins. Now go home and get it done. All right, Jim, Mike, see you on the plane.